Hi, this is Mark, developer at RME, and today we're standing at the RME booth at NEMSHOW 2020 in Anaheim. Let me introduce you to the 12 mic. The 12 channel microphone preamp, four of the channels are combo jack inputs that are switchable to TRS and this TRS is switchable to high Z, so you can also use it as instrument inputs. Next to it we have a phone's output, you can use it for pre-listening or for example as a monitoring output as well. Focus has been put onto ease of use, this is why there is a button next to each XLR and also an LED. This makes setup and controlling this thing very easy. For example, switching on and off phantom power is as easy as holding down the yellow button and then push the channel button to switch on phantom power, push it again to switch it off. Same thing goes for switching between XLR and TRS. Now all of these are TRS, switching it off, now it's all XLR. Controlling the gain is also very easy. Just push the channel button and then you can control the gain here or for example inverse the face. If you push the headphone buttons then the signal of this channel is routed directly to the phones. If you push it again the previous routing is restored. On the digital side we have eight outputs, three of them. So all 12 microphone inputs can be output at 96 kHz over ADAT. Then we have WebClock I.O. for easy integration. We have MADI coax in and out. And we have an SFP slot. So together with an SFP module, you have a MADI optical in and output. Then we have two network connectors, uh, which means you have redundant AVB. The USB connector is for remote control and firmware updates. One PSU is built in, but there's a DC jack next to it, which can be used as a redundant PSU or even on the field if you only have 12 volts available. All devices are remote controllable. You have three options there. One is the AVB standard control protocol, a VDAC. Then you have a JSON API, which also makes it possible to integrate these in, for example, industrial settings. And last but not least, there's a web UI. Here, for example, you see the web UI for the AVB tool. All the inputs are listed in the top row. All outputs are listed in the bottom row. To route between top and bottom row, you just select a channel or multiple channels, drag it down, release it, and now it's routed. To delete it, just select it again, press D, now it's deleted. By the way, in all three devices, there's a routing matrix built in. So you can route between all inputs and all outputs in single channels. Together with the aided outputs on the M1610 Pro and the 12 mic, as well as the MADI in and outputs on all three devices, we think they're quite future-proof, usable now in existing Fireface setups, existing MADI setups or newly built AVB setups. Find out more at syntax.co.uk. Thanks for watching.